vlog. What's up guys, this is my Rob Lane. And I wanted to uh, do a quick, quick review on this 2017 GS350 F-Sport. And um, I don't know if you can see, it's just the sun right now. And um, it's not a full review, but it is a quick review and uh, just to show you around um, the view. Okay. This is a 2017 GS350 F Sport. Uh, this is the grill uh, right here. I'm gonna get closer to it. So you get this meshed grill, and there's a little on the right side here too. Uh, just a different look on the Sport model, uh, the F Sport model than the uh, than the, the non Sport model. And you also get these rims. These are the rims that come in with the F Sport. You also get um, <clears throat> F Sport badges, and also remember this: uh, you can like the vehicle uh, here, and uh, mirrors uh, go in and out. To unlike, you just put your hand inside like so. Okay, and that also goes out um, with the mirror. And you can also have that uh, turn that feature off. Uh, with the GS, you can also do it here. Same thing. It likes the doors. Uh, if you have passengers with you and you want them to go all in at the same time open the door from here and then um, open the door here so that passengers from the other side uh, of the vehicle can go in at the same time um, as you um, another thing that you have with the uh, uh, sport model is the um, F sport model back here uh, you have that as well and uh, the bumper on the rear is a little different as well. Um, the exhaust on both of the vehicles, they are meshed with the, um, uh, or blended with the rear bumper. Uh, the other thing you have, uh, some do come in with the spoiler, some don't. This is a, a um, you can get it with both, uh, either sport model and the non sport model, but the majority of them do come in with the sport. You have this cargo net here, okay? And you can lock the cargo. Uh, you see, I left these open for a purpose. You can lock them down. There's a little that tie down. You just to take this little piece here and just tie it down on here, like so, so that this will not will not move. Uh, you also have your first aid kit here. And uh, this cargo net goes, um, the, uh, the cargo cover does go over uh, here. This, this one opens up and it goes up here. Uh, there's an opening to the um, uh, cabin for the uh, uh, rear uh, seats. And uh, these tie downs, you have another one here. And you also have another one there and here. So you have those so in case you have a big suitcase that's heavy and you don't want it to move around you can just tie it down another thing I like about the GS is this piece here in the middle so you can get this put a, a grocery bag here or you know uh, whatever you want to uh, put down here as far as long as it is not heavier than uh, 11 pounds uh, or 5 kilograms uh, right here you have the to put the uh, trunk back down uh, and see notice how this is um, plastic and it goes inside the uh, vehicle so that way if you if you fill this whole thing up you're able to take uh, advantage of that um, space and this takes a premium uh, another thing I want to show you and I will sit in the back seat um, but these are LED these are LED lamp uh, lamps for all doors um, you also have this is a, a finish for the sport model, and you also the uh, Roja Red only comes in the sport model. So if you if you like the red interior, okay, this is the red interior. If you like that red interior, definitely uh, look into the uh, sport model. Um, so this is the opening that I just showed you from the from the uh, trunk. So you can get access to it the seats do not fall down um and um able to close this 
Right there we go. And um, here's your lighting for the rear seats. And this opens up with the uh, oil tents on with the front. I'll show it to you later when I get to the front. Uh, and uh, you have a little storage. More storage. And your drinks are here. And this also comes down. And this goes out depending on the size of the cup. And um, there's also more cups. Uh, another cup you can put there. And then it's a little more. You, know, you can put your cell phone there, for example, or something, you know, small. And uh, this uh, black liner, it, it comes with the uh, with the sport model. Okay. And you also have vents back here. And let me take this off. 12 volt get lighting. And these open up a little bit more to have. I don't know if you would use for a map, but maybe something something else as you have a GPS with all these sport models and you also get a Mark Levinson sound system um, majority of them do come in with that and um, before we go uh, inside of here well I'm gonna show you a couple of things here but before we go in I want to show you under the hood as well um, and uh, right here you have your memory settings uh, after three uh, this option here uh, when it is selected on auto, that's why you're able to lock the doors and have the mirrors close in. But if you select it here or if you deselect it, uh, it will, they will stay um, uh, in their position. They will not fold in. Uh, the, you can lock the, uh, the um, power windows um, except you and lock the un unlock buttons. Little vent here that comes out on here uh, from the... Uh, defroster on the wind on the um uh, heat defrosters heated steering wheel auto headlamps that comes in with the Lexus safety system uh plus uh with this vehicle traction on or off steering wheel adjustment and then you have your trip um an odometer and also to make uh bright on the uh dash uh, your uh, headlamp switch and then here you have the uh trunk trunk release and the hood release and also notice the uh, aluminum pedals this comes in with the um, F Sport model uh, right here you have a couple uh, adjustments on the seats uh, as you can see this is an extender here this is your normal back and forth uh, you can also raise it up or raise down um, the back support there and then also you can adjust this um for the uh on the uh, for the seat uh for the lumbar support uh right here on the lumbar and lumbar uh, but let me uh let me show you the the hood and of course you have the sunroof um these are intelligent high low beams so when uh you select that little uh auto option on the front uh, and you're driving at night time, the headlamps go to high beam or low beam depending on whether there is a vehicle in front of you or, or a vehicle coming towards you. On the hood, you have support for both sides, uh, so you don't need to hold. Uh, and uh, you also have this cover for the, um, in, case, in case there is a fire. Here's your all uh, filly, coolant reservoir, washer fluid is here. You're probably, you're probably only gonna use well, only gonna use this really. Um, your brake fluid is there. Your air filter is here. Your all dipper sticks there. Your brake, your battery is there. Positive and negative. Uh, but outside of, outside of that, really, uh, nothing else really needed on here. But I just want to show show it to you. Um, and now let's go inside and just show you a couple more other things. And uh, the, it does come in with the Michelin uh, Michelin uh, tires. So another thing that you get with the Sport is the F Sport steering wheel for the GSF Sport. Um, as far as here, they're they're the same, um, and you have the volume up and down, channel up and down, voice command. And the modes to go AM, FM, satellite. 
um, pick up and also in call or accept or reject this control adjusts the um, dash and I'll show that to you a little quick uh, this is your land departure alert and this is your um, dynamic cruise control uh, you set the cruise control here like normal but push it on the back here and then push down uh, to set and you can also increase uh, speed or decrease the speed but this allows you to set the cruise control um, dynamic cruise control so you can adjust uh, the vehicle in front of you and the speed in between uh, and by the way this car does slow down when the vehicle in front of you slows down regardless of what the um, what the setting of the speed is okay so I'm gonna turn the music off uh, when we start as I don't want this to um, to have an issue with YouTube this is the start stop button and there's a couple other things I want to show you here. This is the auto or the uh, brake hold. Um, and when you come to a, a stop or when you put the vehicle into park, the vehicle goes automatically into uh, park and brake. You don't have, as you can see here, there's no park and brake. Okay. So we'll go ahead and start. Alright, so let me turn the... Uh, heat off so that you can hear and we're also going to go back into the into the back of the vehicle and I will adjust actually you know what let me adjust where this car is so that we are against the sun so we can see the um, we can see everything on here okay it's a little bit better, but not the best. I'm gonna cover it with the back of the vehicle. That's it's getting better now. Okay, so this again. All right, so I'm, I just zoomed in a little quick. So the radio is on, but it is uh, the sun is all the way down. So this con this 4.2 engine display here is controlled here. Okay, this is what controls it. So the left arrow and the right arrow. Okay, so I'm gonna go here. So right now we're on music. So we're gonna go to information, or you can just select the to go back to that screen. Just hit this just once, no matter where you are. So if I go here, so right now with music, and I press this button here. It will take me to this screen and this is like per se the main menu and you can push down arrow uh, to get the range to get the um, uh, after the fuel uh, the eco indicator whether you you know saving fuel or one that this is the um, uh, g-force um, and here uh, I don't know why that oh here, uh, here we go so this is showing uh, the tire pressure, uh, the front of the vehicle, what it says tire pressure in PSI. Uh, that's where the front is and the back is on the bottom. So uh, this changes, it just changed, I think, from 34 to 35 on the rear left uh, tire. But this adjusts back and forth depending on temperature. Uh, don't be alarmed. Your miles per hour shows right here. It's zero right now. So that's what it will show. Um, and you have your fuel you have your fuel and your temperature on the right and that's the park so if I take the shifter from uh, right underneath the zero if I take it out from park and I'll put it into drive that uh, parking brake goes off if I put it back uh, in just a second and a half it comes back on that P is the parking sensors for the front of the vehicle and the rear of the vehicle and um, you turn that uh, on or off and, uh, and I will show you where that is uh, done. It's a, it's a little trick to, to get to it. And that other button here, is, I mean, other display here, the BSM is the blind spot monitor. And um, so let me show you how to uh, turn the uh, Lexus Safety System Plus. And uh, you will get to, and I'm, by the way, using this button here to get all the way to the, to the settings. So this is a lane keep assist. Actually, let me go back. I think I'm gonna go to the right here because the sun does go up a little on this uh, on this angle, and then it's messing up that display. 
Actually, let me have the light off. Here we go. So, this is the Land Keep Assist. Okay. And, um, oh, and by the way, you have power shifters with the or with the uh, option to change the vehicle into manual mode. You have manual mode here. And you push it to the left. And then you have manual mode. So you can shift up or down. Shift up a gear. Uh, shift down a gear. Um, but you can also use the paddle shifters. If you didn't. If you want to keep the hands on the steering wheel. So the lane, lane keep assist. Uh, allows you to keep the vehicle. Uh, in your lane when you're in, in, a, in, a, in a cruise control. So when it's steering, when the vehicle goes to the end of the lane, uh, it brings the steering wheel uh, moves to the right or to the left, depending on how far away you are from there. So you wanna have that feature on um, and, uh, and have the steering assist on. And it will also vibrate if you get out of the lane. Uh, and it will also apply a little bit of pressure uh, if you didn't have the turn signal on. The pre-collision is um, also recommended to have that on, and you can adjust this depending on whether you're on a highway or um, how much sensitivity you want. I highly recommend to have it the highest, what I just put in, instead of just one or two bars. The blind spot monitor is, um, for one thing, it was when it is on, that blind spot monitor is on. When it is off, that is uh, not not that's not display on the on the uh, dash. So as long as it is here, uh, the blind spot monitors are on, okay? Just so you know, it's easier. And that is what the blind spot monitor is. I'll turn it off and turn it back on. So that is the blind spot monitor. When there is a vehicle to the left, well, let's say right there, that light comes on. So instead of you looking, you could just uh, look here. That light is on, there's a vehicle there. Same thing, same thing with the uh, other mirror, uh, side, side mirror. Uh, to adjust the clock, it is on here. And uh, vehicle settings and meter settings, however you want uh, that uh, to set. So if I go here, whether you want the uh, schedule maintenance uh, or the uh, oil change and things like that, this is where you set it. Uh, meter settings is whether you want miles per hour, uh, PSI or um, you know, whatever you want to set it for, job one, job two, um, but that's all really uh, preferences. Uh, now, uh, one thing that we I didn't go over is the parking sensors. So, where you turn that on or off is here. So, a lot of times uh, in the beginning, if the sales consultant does that for you, or uh, the Lexus technology specialist does that for you, in the beginning when you get the car, uh, it is nice, but after a while, uh, you may accidentally hit it uh, without you knowing it. And then you'll put this back and it's hidden right underneath, uh, right underneath here. So the parking sensors and the rear sunshade. So if I press this, it opens up a sunshade. Back there, okay. So the other thing that you have is the parking sensors. So with the parking sensors, if say, you know, you know, maybe one day um, you accidentally hit it or a passenger sitting here accidentally, you know, try to put their arm it be here and accidentally presses it and you don't know and one day you're trying to park into into something on the front and that's some beep and you're like hey what's going on and now you try to figure out where to turn that where to turn that on and it's and it is here okay and uh, and i hope you find this um quick uh overview of the uh gs350 f sport and this you can when it comes all the way to the end you can pull up and you have uh access to here really if you want to put big item you can take this out and you have a lot of uh, storage here you have your usb there and the uh another 12 volt uh, power source um but when it's not when it is when you don't really need it with that additional space you can just push this down and you slide this back or for uh back or forth depending on where you want your arm to sit um your heated and ventilated seats are here okay driver and passenger and remember the heated steering wheel is on this side on the gs okay here you have your dynamic um uh, not dynamic but driving modes uh this is eco uh this is sport and this is normal to push down okay so what that does and i will show you what it does on here so this is eco okay so that little 
um, eco button will come on there and also here it will say eco actually let me go back I'm gonna go back to normal and then go back to eco so it will say eco on the right side as soon as you um, turn it to the eco uh, mode when you turn it to a sport uh, it's to the right and that changes to sport and this goes away from from this to this on the sport okay and it will show on the bottom where it says sport s you also have another option where you can change it to a sport plus you just turn you already turn this to uh, sport once and then you turn it one more time and now we'll show you sport plus uh, now when when you change into those into these modes the vehicle uh, engine uh, RPM uh, with the uh, transmission shift points as well as the suspension and steering uh, changes to more of uh, sport I mean let it you could turn the steering with just slightly is um, it, it turns quicker uh, than when you have in a normal motor eco uh, you burn a little bit more fuel not a whole lot but it, it really depends on how heavy you're on the uh, gas pedal uh, you could be in a normal or uh, uh, eco mode and if you're heavy on the pedal uh, the vehicle will take off from eco to normal or sport depending on how much you uh, push the gas pedal okay right here you have your uh, garage doors one two three and you have the the um, electrochromatic uh, rear view mirror and this is what I was telling about earlier uh, when you press these are the lights on either side they are LED uh, lamps but when you press this that turns on and remember that turns on as well okay so I turn it off that turns on okay and I apologize if the if the phone is moving around quickly uh, I will try to edit it and uh, make it better but I'm not sure how it comes out to be the screen here on the map uh, you can make it a full full screen by pressing this little uh, map um, and then when it comes full screen you could go here and say you want music or you want to see who you're talking to or who's you know answering the call or uh, a call that you're receiving um, and then here is your climate control uh, now two ways you can select this you can take this knob just like a, a computer a mouse or whatever you want you can either push down to select it or you can just hit this enter button here or there's another enter button here you can select it depending on how you feel your hand is here you could do it uh, either or remember this is uh, uh, navigation with the voice activated so you can pretty much say anything that you want by using the voice uh, command if you ever want the voice commands and the um, uh, well really the voice commands and how to use them let me know give me your email I'll send you the voice commands and you can uh, see what is uh, convenient and will work for you and I uh, will shoot an email uh, attachment to that for you okay your cup holders right here um, it is you know if you have a small drink I guess and if you have big drinks you can just push that down and it will go in um, you also have a snow snow mode button uh, here so you have a sm snow mode uh, button there and uh, your glow box, you see right now they has got the, uh, the inspections, the emissions, and the, basically inspection really, and um, uh, manual books. That's what you have there. I think, um, I think we covered pretty much uh, everything. Oh, and uh, to add a phone, uh, you click menu, menu button here. And you will come to here and you will go to phone select phone and then you say um, yes since there's no phone connected and you go to your phones uh, settings then Bluetooth not just turn the Bluetooth on or off but actually to go to the Bluetooth where you can see other devices and then you will see Lexus GS you select it and you pair it allow access to the uh, phone book and uh, messaging and it will uh, pop that on uh, to the uh, vehicle and that phone with the uh, right cross it uh, on the top like right there uh, that will go off and you will have a Bluetooth you will have uh, signal strength for the uh, cell phone 
and the battery um, um, level. So if it's like 50%, it will show half of the battery uh, or as a simple on there. Um, if you wanted to go, uh, say if you went to the, uh, if you went to the, uh, let's go back to uh, map one more time. So if you wanted to make the screen full, you will actually go here and you press that. If I go to the right, you will not see that. You see right here. To the right, it's not there. You come back to the left and it's there. So it's kind of hard sometimes to not know how to make it full screen. You just select it, I'll push it down, it will go to uh, full screen. And um, this is my role play. And I want to thank you for watching my video. And if you have any questions, shoot me an email. And have a beautiful day. Bye.